Android's Find My Device feature has had a way to remotely lock an Android smartphone that is signed into your Google account. But the company has taken this feature a step further by making it quicker and easier to lock the phone. The new remote lock feature has started to roll out to smartphones with Android 10 installed and higher. And once you have set up the feature, you can lock your phone with your registered phone number and by completing a quick security challenge. So first, let me show you how the feature has worked for a while. You'll need to bring up the website android.com find and then log into your Google account. From here, you'll see a list of your recent devices that are registered to your account and tapping into a device from this list will give you options like the ability to play sound for those times when you have simply misplaced the phone. You can secure the device, which will lock it remotely. And lastly, we have the ability to factory data reset the phone for those times when you absolutely want to make sure that a thief is not able to access your data. But as I mentioned, these have all been features that have been available via the Find My Device dashboard for years now. But it requires you to be able to log into your Google account, which means you may need to know your Google password off the top of your head. So Google has recently begun rolling out a different remote lock feature, and it needs to be enabled manually. To find this feature, you first want to launch the settings application and then do a search at the top for the word remote. If the feature has been rolled out to you, then you will see a new remote lock option in the search results here. We're going to tap on that and you're going to see that this feature is disabled by default, but we can begin to turn it on by tapping on this toggle here. You'll be told that you need to add a screen lock if you do not have one set up yet. And you will also need to verify your phone number before you can use the feature. Finally, you will then need to set up a pin or password for your security challenge so that you can actually remotely lock your phone without needing to know your Google password. After the feature has been enabled and all of that has been set up, then you can access this new page by going to the website android.com slash lock. From there, you simply need to enter your phone number and then answer that quick security challenge and you'll be able to lock the device instead of needing to log into your Google account. The company says this feature is helpful since many people are panicked after they have lost their phone. So having this additional method available to them helps since they only need to know their phone number and to answer that quick security challenge. And as mentioned, the security challenge looks to be a pin or password that you set up after the phone number has been verified. And this is something that is specific to the remote lock feature. And it's usually easier to remember something like this than a complex password that you have set up for your Google account. While there doesn't seem to be much of a difference between the new methods, it's nice to see Google working to improve the overall function of locking your Android device remotely. It is interesting to see this as a separate feature that needs to be enabled manually, but now that you are aware of it, you can keep an eye out for it on your device because, as usual, Google has started to slowly roll out this feature to Android devices around the world. This means that you may not have access to the remote lock feature right now, and that it could take a week or three 
before it's available. So let me know what you think about the new remote lock feature down in the comment section below and whether or not you have access to it right now. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like this video and also subscribe to the channel since it really helps to support videos like this.